Hey there, welcome to the 38th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. Let's learn about creating custom JavaScript objects. So objects follow the JSON format as I've covered in the last tutorial explaining what JSON is. Um, they're encased in curly braces and contain strings, numbers, booleans, arrays, other objects, null, or even custom functions known as methods. Uh, the data within the object is separated by commas. So this is what a syntax of an object looks like. To read an object data, you would use the dot notation or as the square bracket notation as you would do an array. So to read the name of the person uh, object here, uh, we do person.name and it would output the uh, the name. So let's quickly create uh, another object and just for some practice. So we'll do var, this time I'll call it my phone uh, equals to open and close curly braces couple of tabs. Uh, this time I'll just do brand, so that's the name. So remember everything is uh, name value pair, so you gotta, you gotta give it a name. And then I'll do Samsung. Uh, if you're working with uh, strings, you can use both single quotes or double quotes to encase them. Uh, if you're working with uh, integers with numbers, you, can, you don't need quotes or Boolean or null. You can just type them as is. And to separate these, uh, the properties, you would use a comma. And then the next, property I'll use this, we'll just do model, and let's do S7, I'm talking about my S7 from about a year ago. Let's do OS, Android, uh, remember the colon is used to define um, the what is the name and what is the value. Let's do color. Uh, I'm going to do something where which doesn't really make any sense. I'm going to create a nested uh, object here within the color, and I'll call the first object, the, the first uh, property, I'm going to say black. The front of the phone is black, and for some reason, the back of the phone is white. Uh, doesn't make sense in this, in this example because I'm using a phone, but uh, this is just to show you that you can have multiple layers of JSON objects. There you go, that's where it is. So if I were to add more properties, I'll put a comma here because I am on this level here now. Uh, let's create a, a dummy method. So a method is a function uh, that is called within the uh, object. Uh, we've seen this with uh, the number object, the array object, the string objects where you would do uh, like string dot, uh, you know, two uppercase or something, uppercase. Uh, which would take whatever string and, and put it into uppercase. So you can define your own methods when you're creating your own custom uh, objects. So let's just create something called make call and then function. And here, you know, you'd code to dial number or something. It can be anything. Uh, I'm obviously not going to code that because it's, <laughs> it's really complicated and honestly, I. Don't, wouldn't even know how to do that in JavaScript, but this is how uh, this is just an example of how a method would be in the phone because one of the functions of your phone, of my phone, is to make a call. Another could be take picture, another could be browse internet or open app, etc. This is just an example of a custom method that you can create within your custom object. Okay, now let's output some of this uh, information. Uh, let's output it into the console. Open the console log, go into the console. Uh, let's do console.log. Uh, we'll do my phone dot, let's see what kind of fa uh, what kind of brand do I have? So we'll just do console.log uh, my phone dot brand. Let's run it. There you go, Samsung. See if I, instead of using the, uh, the dot notation, if I use the square bracket notation, I'll have to put quotes around the name. We'll do run, and there you go, Samsung again. Let me change that back because the dot notation is preferred. Let's do one more console.log. Let's do my phone dot. Let's say I want to get what was the color, front color of the phone, you know, for some reason. We'll do color dot front because remember, we're using the, we're, we're going into the multi dimensions of this, uh, of this object. So we're looking at the front property of the color object, which is a property in itself of the my phone object. So there we go. Let me clear this. Let's update and run. There you go. Samsung and the front is black. That's one way of doing it. If I were to console.log, if I were to call the 
the method that we created here. Let's just do, um, uh, let me enter a return. I'll just say, it'll just return a ring ring, right? Nothing. And let's call that method. So we'll do my phone dot make call. Let's say it was a method that actually did something other than just return ring ring. Now, let me clear this. Let me run it. There you go, Samsung black, and then it just returns ring ring because that's what I'm outputting. I, I'm logging to the console, whatever this method here within my, my phone uh, outputs. Clear this. Another thing to know is that you don't need these quotes when you're working with the uh, the name part of your object. So if I just do, if I get rid of them, these will still work. So if I update and then run, do Samsung black and ring ring. So the quotes on the name part is not necessary. But if we're putting strings into the value part, you should put in quotes. So otherwise, if I do update and then clear this and then run now, it says uncaught reference Samsung is not defined because it thinks Samsung is a variable or a method or something. So you need to put quotes around it and then run it and voila. Another thing you can do with your object is you can change the values of your properties within your object. So if you're taking user input and you want to say that the the color is no longer black on front but it's uh, for some reason it's white on front as well, you can do uh, my phone dot color dot front equals to, let's say white, and then we'll do console dot log. Let's do my phone dot color dot front just to see what the new value is. Let me clear my console, update, and then run. There you go. So it's black here on line 17, uh, sorry, 16. Uh, my phone dot color dot front, and then we changed it on line 19 to white, and now color dot front is white. So you can dynamically change uh, values of uh, your object properties just by uh, using an assignment operator, like as as if it was a regular variable. Now, if you were to create another uh, phone object, you just have to pretty much copy it, put it in another variable, and then do all of this all over again. Uh, so come back for the next tutorial where I'll show you how to create uh, something called a constructor of the object. Uh, you can look at it as kind of a template for the object, uh, which you can use over and over again to create new objects uh, with just a single line. So come back for the 39th tutorial, which will be up uh, in a week. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope that this intro to custom JavaScript objects tutorial was useful. I hope all of my tutorials have been useful so far. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. I'm always happy to answer. Remember to visit easyprogramming.net for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.